Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care, coming right here from Raleigh, North Carolina. This week, I'd like to talk about the options that patients have to correct their vision if they're very nearsighted. When patients are negative eight or higher, we consider them to be highly nearsighted or highly myopic. If they want to improve their vision without using glasses or contacts, they have basically four options to correct their vision. The first option is LASIK. And my wife used to be very nearsighted around negative eight. She had LASIK and now her vision is great. She's very happy without having to use glasses or contacts. This can be a good option for many people. However, LASIK thins the cornea by the laser treatment, changing the shape. There's a certain thickness that we need to leave behind in the cornea in order to provide strength and stability moving forward. So if a patient's cornea is too thin or the treatment is too large, they may not qualify for LASIK. Then they may need to go with option number two, which is PRK. It may be safe to perform PRK in some patients that are very nearsighted when they cannot have LASIK. However, when we get into treatments of large numbers like this with PRK, we become more concerned about the development of haze or clouding of the cornea after the surgery. To help prevent this, we can use an additional medication during the surgery called mitomycin C and have patients use more steroids after the surgery to help prevent the development of haze. Because if this haze comes along in the cornea, it can keep the patient seeing from the best they can. Another option when PRK may not be a good choice would be cataract surgery. With cataract surgery, we remove the cataract or the cloudy lens from someone's eye and replace it with a clear artificial lens implant. In this lens implant, we can include a lot of the power that the patient needs in their glasses or contacts into the eye. Therefore, after surgery, their glasses prescription will most likely be much smaller and they can see better without glasses or contacts. However, most of the time cataracts occur in patients that are older. Younger patients usually don't have cataracts. So in this, in this case, they could consider having a procedure similar to a cataract surgery where we remove the natural lens from their eye, replace with an artificial lens, even though there's no cataract. Because there's no cataract, it is considered not medically necessary and they would have to pay for the entire procedure out of pocket and there's additional risk from this procedure including the risk of retinal detachment. Therefore we have to have a good discussion before patients consider this procedure weighing the benefits of getting out of the glasses or contacts versus the danger of the surgery. The fourth option would be placing a lens implant inside the eye without removing the patient's natural lens. This additional lens implant can include a lot of the power that they need in glasses or contacts and correct the vision. There are other options out there. These are just four of the more popular ones. If you are very nearsighted or you have any questions in ways to improve your vision without glasses or contacts, please comment. We hope to interact with you. Thanks again and hope to see you again soon on A State of Sight.